All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about my favorite small blades for EDC. Now, by and large, small knives, like I've talked about in previous videos of like finding the right size for you, I generally tend to be more fan of blade lengths that are around three and a half inches overall length or handle length, I should say, around three and a half to four inches, just because, you know, it allows you to have a good amount of sprawl space on the handle and allows you to just have a really comfortable blade, at least in my opinion. But there are a lot of merits to small knives and in some instances sometimes like when I'm working out or if I just really need a, a smaller blade um, whether it's for legality reasons or whatever you know smaller blades do serve their purposes of being nice small compact EDC tools so today I thought I'd go over the list of four tools that or four smaller knives that I tend to EDC that I like that have blade lengths three inches and under so the first one up on the list is the one I've been playing with the most and uh, this one actually isn't the one I carry the most as far as small knives go, but this is the Benchmade 556 Mini Grip. And the Mini Grip is super, it's not super, super small, but it is a pretty darn small blade. And it is just one of the best all around blades, in my opinion, for just general purpose EDC tasks. But it is still super small, super compact, and I really do like carrying it. And before I got the next knife on the list, this was the knife that I did use to EDC for small blades the most. One thing I would recommend too, if you do end up picking up a mini grip, if whether it's the 556 or the 555, is throwing a bug out clip on it, the Benchmade bug out clip is really appropriate for this knife because they send it with a full-sized griptilian scale or griptilian um, clip which ends up going to about the halfway point on the handle and I find that that creates like an unnecessary hot spot right in the middle of your hand I should show you I try to show you guys like right in the middle of the hand essentially so I like that mini grip or sorry the mini clip that the bug out has on it so i swapped this one over to a bug out clip and have not looked back since would highly recommend anyone else that has this knife do the exact same thing other than that um, the blade shape is really the only difference between the 555 and the 556 but um really great knives either one of them and would totally recommend this guy in a heartbeat Okay, next one up on the list is a little bit more expensive, and that's probably why I wouldn't recommend it to everyone, but for a high-end knife, and one of my favorite, like this is my go-to small EDC knife, is the Hinderer XM18, and this is the 3-inch model. Now, I've had this one for a while. This one has a Spanto tip on it, and is S35BN, but these guys come in a million different flavors, and I just really like this one because of a few reasons. One, it's a nice knife. I do like Hinderers as a whole as evidenced by the few that I have in my collection. But the big thing that I really like about this blade in the three inch configuration is all of your hinders have a really nice, pretty generous forward finger choil. And so when you hold this knife back, you know, without the choil, you know, you get a good four finger grip on it. You know, you're not necessarily sliding off of the knife, but when you put your finger into that choil to do cuts and work, it allows you to really just get that extra finger that much closer to the knife or to the blade or to the cutting edge and gives you that little bit more room in the handle so ultimately that kind of leads to this blade feeling bigger than it actually is and I really do like that and so that's why it's actually become my go-to for smaller knives is because kind of going back to this um, mini grip you can see that you know you don't really have any choil you have to hold the knife like this or like this and so it's really kind of cramped and uh, just a little bit small so I definitely like that ability to choke up on the Hinder XM18. So if you do have the money, if you do like Hinders, I would definitely recommend going for a three inch model like this. I really like mine um, and I've had mine for a few years. Definitely no regrets on that. And like I said, it is my go-to smaller EDC blade. Okay, next one up on the list, and similar to the Hinderer, is the Large Pilar by CRKT. Now, this is what they call a Large Pilar, but if you guys can see, put it up against something like the Mini Grip, it's actually a little bit smaller. If you guys can see there in overall length, it's a little bit smaller than the Mini Grip. So I would still consider this, even though it is a Large Pilar, still a small knife because it is quite small, once again, blade length under three inches. Now, like I said with the Pilar, um, 
you know, this one is very easy and very much part of the handle to choke up on that blade. You don't have to, the handle can be held like this, but I think with the Pilar, it's really kind of appropriate to choke up on it because if you don't, you're pretty far away from that cutting edge, just holding it back on the handle scale. So this one's pretty much a blade that you choke up on. And because of that, you know, it's not super, super roomy, not as much as the XM18, but it is still pretty darn good and pretty comfortable overall. Another nice thing that I like about the Pilar is because it is on, because it's on caged ball bearings, uh, you can flick this guy out super easy. And uh, the version that I have has custom titanium uh, carbon fiber scales on it. So it's actually not too bad as far as weight goes, but the blade or the blade material is only 8 CR13 MOV, so definitely not the best, but it does have a hair popping sharp edge on it that I put on it from the wicked edge. So it's a pretty cool knife. Like I said, it definitely is small, compact, and just like a little hand filling blade. Okay, last one up, and the reason why it's last is it's not like a technically full-on knife, but it is the Leatherman Skelet Skeletool, and I would consider this basically a knife because some of Leatherman's knives, or multi-tools I should say, are more knife-focused. So the Skeletool is definitely one of those where it is very knife-focused, um, so I would consider this more like a knife. And this guy has a, I think, 2.8-inch blade, very easy to access, very easy to use, and it's becoming one of my more favorite knives if I just want a general purpose kind of multi-roll blade because it does have the ability to easily become pliers. And so it's pretty handy in that regard. But uh, yeah, so this is on the list. Once again, it is a smaller kind of knife in technical blade term. However, I will say it definitely is like as far as small knives go, you know, the handle length is kind of pushing it, um, but it is still technically a small blade. So anyways, that is the final one on the list, and that is the Leatherman Skeletool. So hopefully you enjoyed the list, take a look at these guys, and uh, yeah, those are the small blades that I tend to EDC the most. And like I said, I don't usually EDC small blades every day, but when I do, these are the ones that I do.